The first thing we're going to need to do is enter into a remote PowerShell session with our file server file01 so that we can enumerate file shares. Now, in order to get a list of all the shares on file01, we're just going to run get SMB share with no additional parameters. And as you can see, that gives us a list of all the shares on this file server, including the administrative shares and the regular data shares that we've created. Now, if we want to get a list of just the regular data shares, we just add the special parameter and set that to false. And as you can see, that just gives us our presentations share, which is our regular data share on file 01. Now, let's get a list of all of the properties for our presentations file share on file 01. Just need to do a quick select object dash property star, give that a quick run. And as you can see, it is actually quite an extensive list. But there's a lot of relevant data in here too. Things like share state, your folder enumeration mode, whether it's access based or not, caching mode, whether it's manual or perhaps your branch cache setup, perhaps your description, obviously your name and your path are going to be important. And there's a number of other properties here that you can use to search for specific settings. Now another thing we can do here is we can actually get our list of share permissions, not just the regular share properties, but we can actually take a look at the permissions. So we're going to use get SMB share access for our presentations share. Give that a run. And there's our permissions for our presentation share. Well, in this case, we've got the account name with all our groups listed. We've got our access control types, whether it's allow or deny. And our access rights, whether it be full or change or read only or what have you. Now, another thing we can do with get SMB share access is we can actually get a list of all the users or groups with a specific permission. Let's well, say, for example, in this case, we're looking to find out who has full access rights to this particular share. Let's say we're trying to limit it down to just our domain admins. Give that a quick run. And there you can see our manufacturing group has the access right of full, but it also has access control type of deny, so we don't need to worry about that one. And our domain admins do have full access. So it looks like this file server is set up exactly the way we want it. Okay, and the final thing we need to do here is just quickly exit our PowerShell session. Now, say for example, we need to list all of our shares on multiple file servers. Now, in this case, we're going to get file 01 and file 02, and we'll toss the get SMB share into the script block, and we'll give that a quick run. Now, as you can see, that returns our full list of shares on file 01 and file 02, including the admin shares and our regular data shares. Now, if we're looking to list all of our non-admin shares on all the our file servers, say in this case we have dozens of file servers, well, we can use our get ad computer commandlet, do a search through our file servers OU, and toss that into the file serve ad variable here. Give that a run. There we go. And then all we need to do is do a quick invoke command with computer name with file serve ad and use the get smb share special false. And there we go. That's all of our regular data shares across all of our file servers in the file servers OU. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.